You heard about the body of the college girl that was found at Yamato Shrine, right? Apparently, it was right next to Urashima Lake. I bet that Urashima woman did it. Oh my. So is it like La Llorona a little bit? Hi friends, it's me, Killshot Kitty, back again with another video. Today we're continuing on with Spirit Hunter NG. I'm very excited to continue on with this game. Right now we're at the part where Ami has been kidnapped or something. I don't know, whisked away, spirited away. Uh, so I'm hoping we can find her soon, right? Hopefully nothing bad happened to her. If you want to catch up on everything I've already done Spirit Hunter NG wise, I do have a playlist right here. It also includes Spirit Hunter Death Mark. Before we get started though, I'd like to ask if you can please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button and then hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of any other videos that come out. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, here we go. The day after Ami disappeared, once I told Aunt Natsumi what happened, she contacted the cops to have them go search for her. As the last person to see her, of course, they were suspicious of me. The berserk car, the sound of the flute, and the kakuya. I told him everything that happened last night. The guy who questioned me couldn't hide his smirk. He clearly didn't believe me. Jeez, no surprise. I could hardly believe it all myself, and I lived. Great. The painfully long questioning done, I finally make my way back to my apartment. I slowly drag my feet up the rickety steps to stairs to my door. I'm exhausted. It's dark in here. I'm home, but I don't feel like turning on the lights. The quiet dark might help organize my thoughts. What should I do now? I speak out loud to focus on the sound. It's my voice and I should be used to it, but somehow it feels like it belongs to someone else. I've got two options. Let the police deal with it or handle this myself. A typical kidnapping or missing persons is a job for the cops as their professionals. Though, going by all the smug looks I got explaining things, I doubt they believe me. Besides, that cocky girl said, Kakuya will play with you next. Let's play the Urashima woman game. Look for the Urashima woman. If you don't, don't if you don't play with Kakuya, you'll disappear too, and Ami will never come back. She's waiting for me. What should I do? I give my head a shake. Focus. I have to make a decision. Well, obviously go after Kakuya. I will. We all know that it's always the correct answer in any type of horror game. You go do it yourself because you always throw yourself headfirst into danger. What do you mean? Is that not the normal thing to do? <laughs> oh, I'll play your game. I'll play the hell out of it. I'll crush it so hard you won't have a stage to stand on. Plus, going after her will probably lead me to Ami. I just know she's got to be involved in Ami's disappearance. Mindset, I flick the lights on. Damn light. Why does it seem so bright this time? Okay, where to start? Detectives usually search personal belongings first, right? I open my closet and pull out what I'd hidden there. It's Ami's headphones that I found earlier. I should have turned them in as evidence, but something made me hold on to them. Okay, so if he did turn it in as evidence, I can see why he wouldn't want to do that because uh, it's covered in blood, so it'll look kind of damning. But at the same time, you holding that back, if they find that later, then they'll for sure think you're hiding something. I don't know. I, sh I got dizzy out of nowhere after I touched the blood stain. What was that? Ugh. Ami, bring me some flowers. We'll be waiting. That means I gotta get take flowers, right? Again, like someone jabbed antenna in my head and I'm picking up TV signals, but I can't see it clearly. Someone's calling. Oh, it's Amaname. 
Akira, I heard about Ami. The police sure put you through the ringer. It's a good life experience to grow from. Trying to remember all the voices I gave these people. You learn of things fast as usual. Well, I have a friend in the police department. He went out of his way to report to me since it involved a classmate of mine. Sounds like the Amaname family influence extends to the police department. Can you come to the Black Rabbit? Tell me everything there will while I comfort the heartbroken Miss Natsumi. Black Rabbit isn't open. Aunt Natsumi is busy. Didn't you say you had a spare key? Anyway, let's meet there. Don't make me wait, Akira. Don't just decide on your own. Hold on. Too late. Finish with that. What he had to say, he hangs up on me. Of course he did. This guy. I grab my bag and leave my apartment, heading toward the bar. Yup. Amaname and Hazuki. No one should be here, but the lights are on. Akira. Aunt Natsumi sits inside looking exhausted. She's hiding it well with makeup, but the bags under her eyes are still there. Oh, the bar's closed today. I'm meeting Amaname here. What about you? Uh, I left something. I'm so forgetful. In her hands is a small clutch that Ami always used. Okay, I'm off to the police station. You can use the bar as you wish, but try not to be out too late, all right? Aunt Natsumi quickly leaves the store. Her steps are so unsteady, it looks like she could collapse right in front of me. Oh, what's this? Papers are scattered over the counter. Ami's face looks back at me above the words, have you seen her? But she can't stand sitting he around and doing nothing. I turn on the TV to pass time while I wait for Amaname. Looks like I caught the local news. They're talking about topics in the Shinzo ward. In other news, the corpse of a female was found yesterday at Yamano Shrine. The Shinzo police plan to investigate to determine if th this is a possible crime or an accident. The shrine's administration announced that the park will be closed at night for the next few days. As a result, all events scheduled to take place in Yamano Shrine, including the concert by the idol Momo Kuruse, have been canceled. The performance has been rescheduled too. A picture of a girl with silver hair appears on the screen. It's that occult idol Ami likes. She hadn't planned to go to the concert, but I'm sure she'd be disappointed to hear this. So did you come like I told you to? Oh, so you came like I told you to. A good boy like you deserves a present. He tosses a can of coffee at me with the word Dawn. It's got a face of a grizzled man who looks like a bandit leader on it. Regular coffee has 150 milligrams of caffeine, but apparently this kind has twice as that. What do you think? Like a wire to the brain, huh? Oh, you actually really like it? I thought it'd piss you off. Why do you have those crazy eyes again? We've known each other for so long and I still can't predict what you like. Haha, <laughs> you never do what I expect. Anyway, let's get right to it. My cop friend told me what you said during a questioning. That a girl in traditional clothing is involved with Ami's disappearance. Have you gone crazy? Of course you don't believe me. I would have punched you to stop making up things if you told me the same. Hitting me is unnecessary, you barbarian. I don't need anyone to believe me. It's my problem. I'll take care of it. Fool yourself as always. Your courageous, reckless recklessness reminds me of Don Quixote. But that's what makes you, you. These days, we've only got guys who leave all their work for others to deal with. It's rare to find someone like you who takes matters into their own hands. Putting aside whatever I believe your fairy tale or not, I'd love to see how a guy like you would talk, tackle something like this. Sounds very entertaining. Count me in too. Well, you look happy. I'm glad, I guess. Just it's embarrassing. Besides, I stand to gain something from this myself. Finding Ami will get me true extra brownie points with Miss Natsumi. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to break through her guard. All right, creeper. Ugh, whatever. Okay. All right, I'm getting pumped. This reminds me of when you and I dealt with that dealer who crept too far into our turf. Oh, yeah, whatever happened to that guy? I left him with you. Hmm, I wonder. I haven't seen him since then. Maybe he went back home. Your eyes are telling a completely different story. 
I heard he lives near the ocean, so perhaps he's swimming with the fishes these days. It'd be smart to drop this topic right now. Oh, a customer? Busting into the bar comes someone I recognize, Kaoru Hazuki. Um, Miss Natsumi? I want to know more about what happened to Ami. Oh, Kichima, where's Miss Natsumi? She wasn't at home, so I figured she'd be at the bar. Ami told me where to find it a long time ago. She's gone to the police. I see. Those clothes, you must be Kaoru Hazuki. I see why Maruhashi was thrilled. You're pretty cute. Who are you exactly and why do you know my name? Oh, are, are you an FBI psychic detective and you use some kind of mind reading on me? If so, then I want your autograph. My name is Seji Amaname. Not a common last name, is it? If you get what I'm saying, this will go much faster. You're part of the Ama Amaname family? Aunt family. <laughs> I can't talk. Her body stiffens as she realizes. Anyone who doesn't know Seji no Amaname reacts exactly the same. Why is a member of the Yazu Yakuza here? He's a friend. He's the boss's son, but he's not a member yet. He won't bite as long as you don't mess with him. Could you not introduce me like some dog? Anyway, where did you hear about Ami, Hazuki? Miss Natsumi called me while I was out. She didn't go into detail, so... But can you fill me in? But you can fill me in, right, Kijima? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I want to hear it from you directly. Maybe Hazuki will believe your fairy tale. Girls love those sort of things. Fairy tale? Ooh, she gonna get mad. I, I tell them everything that happened that night about the van attacking, how Ami disappeared, and my encounter with Kakuya. Amaname's smirk never wavers as he listens. Doesn't look like his opinion is going to change, but Hazuki's completely serious. Her gaze is so intense, it's like she's memorizing every word I say. <laughs> You're serious? Y yeah, don't believe me if you want, but... No, I believe you. That was fast. That Kakuya girl you mentioned, she must be a spirit. A spirit? What's that? Oh, you know what a spirit is. Wait, you don't know about spirits? Are you saying you don't read Moe's H City featured article in Oop Arts? Moe! I don't read that. To be fair, Monthly Oop Arts is a minor occult magazine. It shits out tabloid grade fantasies about ghosts and urban legends. Nobody with any sense reads it. It's not fantasy, it's the truth. You think so too, right, Kijima? You believe in ghosts and urban legends? I knew it. Of course Ami's big brother would be like that. I mean, I I believe in that kind of stuff. So my character also believes in that stuff. <laughs> oh my. Spirits aren't human. They say they're what becomes of people who died with a strong grudge. So like a ghost? They're similar, though they're of a more violent nature. They have a strong ha hatred towards the living. That's why they try to kill us. Ugh. A drop of sweat runs down my back. Ugh. Last night, I barely escaped that runaway van. Is there anything else? Well, let's see. Spirits are distinguished by how they feed off fear. They drive humans to the brink of death and soak them in fear and despair. That is their wish. That's all I remember of what's written about them. Fear, huh? Hey, Kijima, this Kakuya told you to search for the Udashima woman, right? Yeah, pretty sure. It's some kind of game between her and me. So does that mean the Udashima woman from the rumors actually exists? You know what she's talking about? Well, of course. It's the most discussed rumor right now on the Shinzo Ward ghost story forums. E enough of this. Why are we even floating the idea that ghosts exist? It's foolish and unproductive. Zip it. Hazuki, who is the Urashima woman? <clears throat> it's the ghost of a woman said to appear at Yam Yamato Shrine. The shrine contains Urashima Lake, hence the uh, name Urashima woman. And well, about the ghost... The rumor on the forums goes like this. Urashima You heard about the body of the college girl that was found at Yamato Shrine, right? Apparently, it was right next to Urashima Lake. I bet that Urashima woman did it. Oh my. 
So is it like La Llorona a little bit? They say that Urashima woman is the ghost of a woman who died in Urashima Lake. If you do a certain thing at the shrine, she'll appear. What are you supposed to do? Easy, go to the lake in the dead of night and just throw a rock in. Though I've heard it's up to luck whether you see the Urashima woman or not, according to those who see her anyway. She looks like a, a soaked pregnant woman. About that college girl who died, her friend invited her to go with him to find out if the rumor was true or not. Though they were going to the park in the middle of the night, so maybe they were fooling around. When they reached the boat dock, they used rock, paper, scissors to decide who'd test it. The college girl lost. Nervous, she picked up a random rock and threw it into the Urashima Lake. The splash echoed through the quiet park. The two of them slowly glanced around. But no one was there. The lake looked the same as always, shining dimly under the moonlight. They must have felt relieved. They laughed together over silly rumors, but I guess they still felt uneasy as they left the park right away. And then she died. It all started the next day when the girl stopped coming to classes. People called her over and over, but she never answered nor responded to their messages. A few days later, her friends became worried, so they decided to go visit her. And that's when they found her drowned body by Urashima Lake. And for some reason, her corpse was swarming with small turtles. What? And that's a scary rumor of the Urashima woman. Wasn't that just spine tingling? <sighs> Amaname really had a, already had a pale face, but now he looks drained of blood. His face has gone blank and his eyes are out of focus. Could it be you're the type that can't deal with ghosts or scary stories? <sighs> that's right, got a problem with it? My aversion to these sorts of things is more, of le more or less like what you'd consider a wheat allergy. Meaning, that's just how my body reacts. I can't help it if it does it. When I heard you were the son of a boss, I was afraid that you'd be scary, but... So you can be cute too, Amaname. Why are you smiling and why are you being so overly familiar with me? He's been like this since elementary. Ghosts and scary stories are his weak point. He once heard a scary story on an overnight trip, couldn't sleep, and fainted the next day. Oh no! I wonder if the... Urashima woman Kakuya spoke about is connected to the rumor. I doubt there's much more of uh, more than one of them. I doubt there's more than one of them. It's worth checking. Right, we have to look into it. We have to find the truth about the Urashima woman and her identity. You're having fun with this, aren't you? Well, my interest in ghosts and the occult is part of my life's work, after all. Are your weird hobbies enclosed because of that occult idol? Yeah, of course, I'm a Momoler. Plus, the Urashima woman got Momo's concert canceled. I can't forgive her. I agree that we should investigate the rumor. Obviously, it's proof. It's to prove that the Urashima woman doesn't exist. She's really just a pregnant woman on a stroll. Fear makes a wolf bigger than he is. Right then, let's get going. Huh, right now? Hold on, you're coming with us? Of course. No way I'm going to miss this chance to see an actual spirit up close. What will you do after you meet it? Get an autograph or something? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that. I'm kidding. Of course not. I'm not that dumb. I would just love to see one up close like fans are with the idols. Besides, there's also Ami. Going after the Ushiman woman kills two birds with one stone. So I'll be hanging around for a while, Kijima. All right. <laughs> That's quite the welcome. Let's solve this, the secret of the Ushiman woman together. And find Ami, of course. I don't mind going, but didn't the news say something about the Yamato Shrine being closed at night right now? Wouldn't the, wouldn't the trip be for nothing? It's enough to go there and check it out. Besides, you'll be surprised at the, uh, at the ways one can get through the well-guarded places. I've heard about diehard fans sneaking into their favorite idol's dressing room. One of these diehard fans doesn't happen to be you, does it? I bet she stole the clothes she's wearing from Momokuruse's dressing room. Do you want me to curse you both to death? Her smile. It's late. If we're going, we better leave now. And keep an eye out for cops. It'll be a huge hassle if they catch us. Oh, leave that to me. I know a route that circumvents the police. And why would you know that? I like exploring haunted places. 
They started recognizing me the more times I went out. <laughs> so that night with Murahashi. Yeah, I was returning from a haunted place. I've heard about an abandoned gentleman's club downtown where ghosts appear. I was lucky and a window happened to be open, so I was able to sneak in, but no ghost showed up, unfortunately. I even waited two hours. Hey, Akira. This girl seems kind of crazy, don't you think? Guess not just her clothes are strange, but she seems to know a lot better her than someone who, who'd get in the way. Mm, I suppose that's true. If anything, she's not bad looking, so might be of use. This guy. Sometimes you just need a woman's charms to get you out of a situation. Uh, you know I can hear everything, right? We leave Black Rabbit and head towards the Yamato Shrine under Hazuki's direction. Okay. A few minutes of walking gets us to the entrance of Yamato Shrine. Like we were warned, the main entrance is closed. Huh, so it really is closed at night. Though it is just a park, I doubt there's much in the way of security. I measure up the height of the gate. I can't jump this. Well, I'm sure it'd be a breeze for you, Akira. Let's check for security cameras just in case. It'd be a hassle if they call the cops on us. But the biggest problem... Amaname gl glances over his shoulder. That security guard seems super dedicated to keeping an eye out. It's so late. I figured they'd go home at some point or something. When no one's around is the exact time more security is required. Not everyone is as honest as you, Hazuki. It's just common sense. <sighs> I get the feeling I should put an end to this conversation now. Anyway. May as well try talking to the guy at least. A directory with the map of the park. Looks like Ushima Lake is in the center and a sanctum sits on the, the island located inside it. The island's called Ryugu Island. Below the map is a short explanation about the shrine. The main sanctum, Tamate, is on Ryugu Island and honors the water gods Tatsu, Dragon, and me, Snake. These gods provide blessings for good childbirth. Many parents name their child after the deities. To receive that blessing, you throw a rock with a name written on it into the lake when the sun's at its peak. The rock throwing part sounds a lot like the Urashima woman's rumor. Though that one you're supposed to do at night. Be it praying to a god or spooky ghost doesn't change the fact that is, this is all ridiculous. It's an ingenious way to scam people and make money off of the devout, though. Ugh, you're so annoying. Karma's gonna come back and bite you in the butt for that. Oops. This Grand Vermilion Tori Tori Gate is... Uh, proof this place used to be a shrine before it became a park. Actually, what's over here? The lights in the station are on. Looks like the guards are working late. I step forward, but Amaname stops me with his hand. I got this. I've got some experience with negotiating. He strains his shoulders, walks up to the window, and taps it lightly with a knuckle. Oh, um, excuse me. The window of the front desk slides open, and a sleepy-sounded man appears oh what is it the park's already closed for the day i'm terribly sorry i actually came to the park earlier today and it seems i forgot something on a bench inside so i came back to get it uh the i lost something scenario but the guard doesn't seem to be softening up look man if you lost something you need to call management we're only security and information here management hey i already told you earlier we're closed if there's something you want to know take a look at the directory or the posters good night <sighs> well they're not letting in it, us in that way. <laughs> Ass. He was rather pissy. It's late. I guess it makes sense. We need to come up with some sort of plan if we want to get any useful information out of him. The poster details info on a festival. Apparently, it's for offering prayers to the water gods living in the lake. The park entrance. I don't see any security cameras. You're right. I don't see any either. How sloppy. But it works out for us. Yeah, the gate isn't very tall either. Does that mean there's no issue with jumping the gate? Only if the guards don't stop us. And that's the sticking point, of course. 
Oops. Oh. It's called cancellation notice. Looks like the concert was canceled. Concert. Is this talking about? Yep, Momo Kurusei's concert. It had to be canceled. It's weird, but she's become strangely popular recently. Who knows why? It's a shame about the concert being canceled. I was really looking forward to it. I think I'll hold on to this flyer if that's okay. Might be able to hear more about it from the guard. I pulled out the cancellation notice from my bag. I noticed I can find out something from the guard if I show this to him. Or maybe I can... You should handle this, Akira. I get the feeling he'd just chase me away if he come sees me come up to him again. I head over and quietly tap on the glass. The window slides open immediately. The guards still sound sleepy. Yeah, what is it? I wanted to ask you about this flyer. Oh, the Idol concert. That's been canceled. I know, but why was it canceled? Why do you think? The body of that college girl, obviously. Why'd you make me say it? Jeez, why isn't he working tonight? Uh, he? The guard on shift tomorrow is a Kurusei fan. He will not stop talking about her. It drives me crazy. I'm sure he'd be happy to answer all your questions about her. He talked the ear off a fellow fan. No, I wouldn't exactly say I'm a fan. Okay, you're starting to get on my nerves. Hurry and go if you don't want me to call the cops. The damn idol otaku. You look put out. How'd it go? Apparently the concert was canceled. But we already knew that. Is that all you found out? No, there's one other thing. Sounds like the guard on duty tomorrow is a huge Momo Kuduse fan. Uh, a Momo Kuduse fan? Um, is that important? Maybe. I think I've checked everything I can around the main entrance. Okay, I think I'm done here. If you plan to investigate inside, then I don't think you can avoid hopping over the gate. Sure, but what about the guard? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a problem. No! We'll just have to force our way in. It's not too tall, so hoping hopping it will be a cinch. Sure, it's easy for a muscle freak like you. Hazuki and I aren't so inclined. We need some time to climb over. Cl climb our way over. That loss of time would be fatal. It's too risky. True. Now I'll just go on my own for a quick look. Uh, are you sure? Whoa, whoa, are you serious? Yeah? We came all this way, it'd suck if we go back hand empty-handed. Yeah, but what do you plan to do after you get in? Well, how about I go throw a rock in Udashima Lake? Maybe that'll make the Udashima woman appear. D -d Don't do it, you'll be cursed! Only if the rumors are true. We'll have to take some risks at some point if, there's gonna if we're going after the Udashima woman. Just a matter of when. But, but Okay, if that's your decision, Akira, I'll support it. Hazuki and I will distract the guard. Take the chance to sneak in. Right, I'll leave that to you. I guess our rules are set then. Hazuki, I'm gonna need your help. Yeah, all right. The two huddle together to plan their strategy. Sounds like they're gonna cause some kind of disturbance to distract the guard. And that's the plan. All you have to do is keep up. I get the feeling you're pretty a pretty bad actor. I'll show you my true power. I can ad-lib the particulars, right? Whoa, hey, please just don't do anything stupid. All right, Akira, we're off. Figure out the timing on your own. Just get inside. They make their way over to the security station. I'm really sorry, Kaoruko. I forgot and left your present in the park. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Please forgive me. How could you, Sejito? It's my birthday today, and I really were looking forward to opening it. No, not just me. Even this child in my womb. <laughs> huh, child? That wasn't part of the plan. I'm sure I've conceived. It's yours. You're happy for us, right? Uh, uh, seriously? Your face. Are you going to dare say that it's not yours? N no, that's not. Don't give me any of your shit. It's definitely your child. I'll make you acknowledge it no matter what! Uh, hey, you two! What's all that fuss? Take your quarrel elsewhere. Shut up! You know what? It's your fault to begin with since you won't let him inside the park! B but I can't! 
If my trauma causes me to lose my child, are you gonna take responsibility, huh? Uh, uh, Kakaruko, calm down. Wow, Hazuki's amazing. Whoops, no time to be distracted. Now's my chance. With Hazuki successfully distracting the guard, I hop over the main gate. I don't stop after getting over the gate. I jog right straight over to the wide road. Soon I reach an open space with a fountain. I'm probably far enough now. If I remember the map by the entrance, there's some kind of boat dock ahead. That must be where the college girl threw the rock into the lake. May as well give it a try. I gotta confirm the Urashima woman rumor. I bend down and pick up a rock. Okay. There's no water running in it, probably because it's after hours. No time to check it right now. Must be a restricted area. There are chains on the poles. It's a boat rental booth. No time to check it right now. One of these types of trash cans you can find in theme parks. No time to check it right now. The rental boat flows up again bleh, beside the dock. Got through a rock, so I walk to the dock and climb into the boat tied up there. Why would you be in the boat? You can just throw it off the dock. I take the throwable rock from my pocket and toss it into the water a short distance away. A warm fishy breeze distinct to lakes bl blows past me, but it doesn't feel like anything's happening. I better go back. Feeling a slight chill, I climb out of the boat and return to shore. It's a Maname. Yeah, what's up? Time's up, Akita. The guard's about to go on patrol. Get out quick so he doesn't run into you. Got it. Meet us in front of KCJ Station. We'll stand out if we gather by the gate every time. Hazuki and I will head out now, later. I didn't see the Urashima woman like we hoped, but it's good enough for a first day of scouting. Guess the rumors are just that. Doubt that college girl even died because of the Urashima woman. I'm no ghost otaku like Hazuki, so this is pretty much what I expected. But if that's the case, where is this Urashima woman Kakuyo was talking about? I'll think about it later. Right now, I need to get out of here fast. As I take a step, my attention gets caught. Was that a sound coming from the lake? I turn back, but everything looks the same. Must have been a fish or something. Sure. I sprint full speed from the boat dock all the way to the central plaza. I hop over the gate without breaking a sweat. Leave the shrine and disappear into the night. Doesn't seem like the guard noticed me. Well, that's good, at least. It doesn't take me long to reach the Kisuji station entrance where we decided we'd meet. There are people rushing inside. It, mu it must almost be time for the final train. Oh, welcome back. I'm glad to see you're safe. We had a lot of trouble with while distracting that guard to get you inside. A certain someone had a rather impassioned performance. Haha, <laughs> I got a little caught up in the moment. But hey, we got his attention at least, right, Kijima? Ha, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, how was it inside Yamato Shrine? Was the Urushima woman there? I tossed a rock into the lake, but nothing showed up. Whoa, you actually threw a rock in? I hope bad ghost didn't follow you back. Are you feeling okay? No stomach aches? I'm fine, as far as I know. And I guess we won't have to worry now. It might be wise to burn some incense when you get home, though, just in case. Can we move off this occult topic? We need to focus on coming up with a way to sneak into the park. We can't do a performance like that every time. Amaname's right. All of us might not make it in, but maybe we can figure out a way for at least two of us. 
I'd like to look for the Udashima woman too. Easier said than done. Oh, the guard on shift tomorrow is Momo Kurusei fan, right? According to that guy, yeah. The guard had absol absolutely had it with the other guard other over there. He must be a hardcore fan. <laughs> well then, this might not be a bad idea. What are you thinking? Just that the odds will be in our favor tomorrow? The guard's a big Kurusei fan, right? And he's probably not used to talking to girls, so... Amaname looks at le looks at Hazuki speculatively. I thought we could use her wiles to, to lend a hand. You're a live or die obsessed Momo Kurusei fan, right? Too? <clears throat> you must know exactly what kind of things would ha make that type of guy happy. Huh? Hey, just what the hell are you saying? The look on Hazuki's face, I brace for another blow up, but I see. Hmm, that might not be too bad. Well, that's a surprise. She just let Amaname's comments roll off her back. Hazuki, you don't mind? I'll do my best. It's for the Udashima woman and Ami. I'm looking forward to it. Well, now I'm feeling kind of fired up. <laughs> it wouldn't be such a hassle if we only had to access the shrine. We could do our business there during the day. The Udashima woman signings are only at night. Besides, it's standard ghost protocol to appear at midnight. I haven't affirmed for myself the existence of ghosts yet. It's entirely possible that it's just a pregnant woman on a stroll. No, it's definitely a ghost, and not just a ghost, but a spirit. My sixth sense is telling me. Look, there's no debating with you. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell Miss Natsumi about this. She tried to stop us. Not a word to the police or anything anyone else either. I know, I know. Believe me. Believe me, I'm painfully aware of how people can't, don't believe this sort of thing. All right, I'm off. I have an assembly to attend to. See you guys tomorrow night. He turns around and heads off, disappearing into the neon lights of downtown. I think I'm gonna go too. Oh, hold up a sec, Kijima. Ami told me that you live near the underpass. My place is that way too. Why don't we head home together? Works for me. Oh, I was worried you'd be reluctant, but now I'm glad I asked. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy this worked out. We take off together during, ter, toward my apartment. Ever since that day, I make it a point to walk through the underpass on my way home. I go, if I go through this creepy place, I might be able to meet with Kakuya again. That's where you and Ami got photos taken, right? I heard one of them was a crazy intense ghost picture. You have no idea how jealous I am. What happened the day after I got that black postcard? Maybe the game that already started by then. Ami told you all of that? <clears throat> she likes you a lot. She talks about you constantly. Like how you like motorcycles. You bought a new bike recently, right? Some big machine with plenty of horsepower? You know even that? Your motorcycle sounds very interesting. <laughs> I'd love to ride it sometime if you don't mind. If I feel like it. I'll look forward to it then. So the place where the van attacked you is... Right around here. Did Yuri's ghost really appear? That was a shadow that could have been her. There was a shadow that could have been her. I see. I point out the spot where I saw it and Hazuki stares at it for a while. Oh, the, the vase is gone. Is she getting teary? She's been constantly offering flowers ever since Yuri died. They were best friends. I should have come and offered flowers that day. Ami wanted me to join you. I should have listened to her. Then I could have seen a real spirit. That's why you're sad. Uh, I'm joking, of course. I wish I could have seen Yuri. There's so much that I wanted to talk to her about, and maybe I could have saved Ami. Just be realistic. It wouldn't have changed anything if you'd been there. If she'd been with us that day, she would have been killed by the out-of-control van. I saved myself, and Ami made it because she was small, but Hazuki wouldn't have had a chance. You're right. I don't have your strength. The only thing I have to offer is knowledge of the occult and supernatural phenomena. Please come to me if there's anything you want to know. Anything at all? Supernatural phenomena, huh? I think back about the past few days. The runaway van, Yuri's ghost, Kakuya. Pretty sure I told her everything. Oh, there was that one other thing. I could ask about that phenomenon. There is one thing I wanted to ask you, Hazuki. Ever hear of any 
anything about being able to see things when you touch blood like a movie plays in your head it's hard to explain hmm that sounds like esp maybe some form of psychometry psychometry what's that it's a form of esp where residual thoughts left on objects can be read like you could read fossils and ruins to see how people back during that time period lived. And what I saw when I touched the headphones was Ami's thoughts. Are you saying that happened to you, Kijima? Yeah. I gave her a quick recap of what happened to me when I touched the blood on the headphones. That's incredible! If that's true, then that's just amazing! Can't say I expected her to get so excited. She's even breathing hard. I'm shocked! You have a gift for these sorts of things. Oh, you look happy. I would be if I were you. Having your own unique special power is great. Anyway, I'd love to take a look. Do you have the headphones with you? No, I left them at home. Then we need to get to your place. Kazuki takes off like a shot. Man, when you fire up her passion in the occult, she runs with it. Literally. I take off in a sprint after her. I wasn't racing or anything, but I'm the first to arrive at the, my apartment. Hasuki stumbles up a while later, out of breath. You're too fast, Kijima. Running at that speed and you're still not tired? That's inhuman. You must be related to Turbo Granny. Human weapon, abominable snowman, ESP, and now a creature of urban legend. Just how the hell does Hasuki see me? I'm just gonna take a breather here. Could you bring out the headphones? Thanks. I duck in and grab the headphones from where I left them in the living room and return inside outside <clears throat> here this is a pair that Yuri gave Ami right Ami would listen to Momo songs all the time and where's the blood is it Ami's that's my guess no point in thinking about it I suppose let's try it just like the last time I reached out toward the blood stain Ami, bring me some flowers. We'll waiting. Well, see anything? Something there, but it doesn't make sense. The voices are fuzzy too. Oh, okay. I read somewhere from a spiritualist that said this, but apparently the focus point for spiritual visions is in the forehead. Focus everything there and imagine a third eye. I'm sure it'll clear things up. Hmm, focus. The third eye stuff is beyond me, but I do know concentration is important. Sharpening your concentration to the limit lets you see a lot of things you missed before. Like my enemy's breathing and movement patterns. If I can feel them, my body acts on its own. Amaname claims the reason I'm undefeated is because of my intense focus and quick reflexes. So what if I put all my focus and concentration toward the blood instead of my enemies? May as well see if it works. Remember how it feels. Oh my. Oh. This time it's clear. Ta this is my bathroom. Cleaning time, cleaning time. I have to finish before it's time to eat. Ami's voice echoes in my head. Eee, it's gonna be stir-fried vegetables. Everything tastes so good when Big Brother makes it. He's gonna be a good husband someday. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Huh? Ouch! I, I caught my toe on something. Looks like I'm bleeding a little. Ami. Huh? Is that a voice coming from my headphones? Ami. Offer me flowers. I'll be waiting. Yuri. Okay. I'll be sure to go offer some tomorrow. I'll bring you new flowers. Oh. Huh? No one's here, right? Wait, it looks like... She doesn't see the shadow reflected in the mirror. Hey, Ami, food's up. Uh, okay, be right there. I saw it. 
I heard Ami's voice too. Really? So you really are reading thoughts from Blood Kijima? It's really a special form of psycho 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 psychometry. We can call it bloodmetry. Oh my god, don't. I have a power like that. It's hard to believe, but what I saw is real. I'm not imagining things. So what was the vision? I let Hatsuki know everything from the vision. What? Yuri's voice came from her headphones? Why would she do that to Ami? No, that wasn't. Kakuya did it. The shape I saw in the mirror, I'm sure of it. But why would she do that? Why else? To get Ami to make an offering. That's the game Kakuya set for her. And you disappear if you lose the game? Does that mean Ami disappeared because she couldn't make the offering? That's my guess. Huh. What? Oh, poor Ami! Taking advantage of how she cares for Yuri? That's unforgivable. I'm so pissed off. Of course you're unhappy too. I feel so sick to my stomach is churning so much that I want to throw up. All right, I've decided. My game face is on. It's time to get serious. It all goes down tomorrow. The whole lending a hand thing? Exactly. For Ami, I'll go as far as I need to. Oh, don't go overboard. Oh, yes, that's right. Mind if I have your phone number, Kijima? It'd be a good idea for us to be able to contact each other. Plus, there could be things I want to talk to you about. I've got a lot of stress piled up and Ami and Yuri aren't around. Hey, no gab sessions, okay? But your personality just makes me feel like I can rely on you. The two of us exchange our cell phone numbers. Well, I don't want to overstay my welcome, so I'll, I'll start heading home now. It's late. You gonna be okay? I'm not too far from here. Don't worry. Good night. And without another word, Hazuki dashes off. Blood Mitri, huh? I stare down at my hand. It's still hard to believe, but this weird power might help me to get to the bottom of this mess. Man, I'm tired. Okay. A stack of CDs Amaname recommended to me. Open the curtain. There's nothing in particular. Okay. I got so worried. Every time I open this, dust flies up. Okay, maybe we won't do that. This house phone's pretty useless since I have a cell phone. That's funny. It's amazing fighting technique. Doubt this will help me with spirits. Hold on, I want to see what's in the other room then. Nothing? I open the fridge and look inside. Nothing I can eat without prep in there. Just my spare shoes. I open the door and go inside. What's that? Oh, is that the bathroom? I'm tired. It's been a while since I had a bath. Maybe I'll take one once today. All right. May as well do something while it's filling up. I keep a few seasoning bottles in here. I can faintly see my face reflected in the window. Oh, so they're set. Nope, don't have any business here. That's funny. Is that it? May as well do something while it's filling up. Guess I'll listen to some music. I grab a random CD and press play. Okay. It's been long enough. I should check on the tub now. Hopefully it's not flooded. So 
Something feels off the second I reach for the door to the tub. Oh, I don't hear the water running. It should have stopped on its own. Shouldn't have stopped on its own. I open the door and go inside. Oh, God. Oh, the hot water isn't working right. Oh, God. What's this? The tub is filled with murky liquid. What looks like long hair is floating on the surface and sticking to the corners of the tub. What's this? What's with my bathtub? Hot water? Nope. No steam. It's not hot. Damn it. What the hell is this? Okay, so you're still on about the hot water. What about all the long hair all around your bathtub? That's what I want to know. Like, you obviously don't have this long hair. Ami didn't even have this long of hair. Her aunt doesn't even have this long of hair. Why is your first thought the hot water? Stick my hand in the tub? Oi, 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 oi. Guess I've got no choice. I can't just leave it like this. I'm going to have to drain it at some point anyway. I shove my hand into the dirty, lukewarm water. Disgusting. Ugh, it smells like the sewer. Suddenly, I feel something thin, like hair, cling to my upper arm. Fuck! I yank my arm out, shuddering. Now the water's fine. What? What's going on? As if I just... Had, as if it... What, what? As if what I just seen had never happened. I'm now staring at a tub full of clean, hot water. Did I imagine that? Or maybe the pipes are malfunctioning. Examining the faucet, it looks like the hot knob is open to release hot water, but hot water isn't coming out. That's weird. I turn the knob off and turn it back on again and... Clean hot water pours out. The faucet's being weird, but hot water is coming out like it should. I could have sworn a second ago it was full of dirty water. I still feel the sensation of sludge in that what seemed like hair on my arm. What was that? Huh. I don't feel like taking a bath anymore. Guess I'll just go to bed like this today. I don't blame him. Collapsing on the bed, I shut my eyes. That dark liquid, what was all that about? Was I just imagining it? Or did it have something to do with me tossing that rock into the lake? No way to find, no for sure. With these thoughts running through my mind, my consciousness begins to fade. Broken a Yama sh Yamato shrine through rock. Nothing happened. Dragon snake, water gods, safe childbirth, blessings. Tomorrow security guard likes idols. Bats of water dirty. Problem with water pipe? Oh no. Alright, and that is where we're going to leave off today. Alright, friends, and that's it for today's video. There's a lot of stuff happening, it seems like. Oh man, Ami's missing. I think Kijima's now possessed, possibly, or has a... Uh, a malevolent spirit starting to following him around. Uh, I guess we'll see what, what happens on the next day when we go to the shrine. Hopefully we can find something to, to tell us what happened to Ami. Because uh, he didn't see that far into the future. Or like into what happened uh, when he touched that. Like he kind of saw the final moments, but not what whisked her away or anything. It probably was Kakuya, but... Again, friends, please do the things that help out the channel, like like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching up until this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!